Teoboku Cave, situated in the outskirts of Owerezukala community, according to oral tradition, dates back to the origin of human existence and is acclaimed the only male cave in Africa. A twist of stone-made stairs led down to the waterfalls and deep down to the cave, which has many sections, including an underground tunnel, a natural amphitheater, and an ancient chamber containing carvings and historic sculptural works. Governor Biano, after being conducted round the site, said the cave is capable of launching the community and the state in the world tourism map if well tapped. The governor said the state government will immediately commence the designing of a new road to provide access to the tourist center. He further revealed that government has plans to build a four-star hotel that will have a modern shopping mall and other ancillary facilities to be done under a public-private partnership arrangement near the cave, adding that agreement has been reached with the host community on the land to be used for the project. Uh, this will bring a lot of development to this community and a lot of employment. Like, it's a very beautiful place and I recommend this to everybody to, to visit. Yes, sir. According to the tour guide, Saivan Sihesi, who conducted the governor and his entourage round the cave, Governor Biano has made history as the first governor to ever visit the cave. On their part, a former chairman of Urumba South Council area, Prince Beneth Ibekwe, and an Abga stalwart in the area, Chief Romie Zongwoka, acknowledged that the efforts of the present administration to reposition tourism and other sectors as major foreign exchange earners will guarantee sustainable economic growth as well as create job opportunities for Ndianambra, contributing the special assistant to the Speaker Anambra State House of Assembly. On media and publicity, Mr. Mamadu, who is an indigenous of the town, described Governor Biano's visit as unprecedented and thanked him for showing practical interest towards the growth and development of Owere Zukala. Governor Biano had after the visit inscribed his name on the wall of the cave, signifying his successful tour of the cave. Anambra State will in no distant time emerge as one of the major tourist centers in not only Nigeria, but in the whole world. From Obuku Cave in Owere Zukala, I am Kenichi Kofo, reporting for APSU.